China has strong economic ties with Uganda due to the massive investments in infrastructure projects. The Asian country is particularly liked by Ugandan authorities because it doesn't attach political strings to the aid it gives the country, unlike other foreign governments. China has, one po has a population of 1.4 billion people. That means one in six people on the earth is Chinese. And China is the second largest economy in the world nowadays. China and Uganda, we are good friends, good partners, and good brothers. And we have a profound friendship. Ugandan leaders have on several occasions courted Chinese business people to invest in the transport, agriculture, tourism, and energy sector in order to create more jobs for Ugandans. Many Chinese firms heeded the call and set up shop in the country, doing businesses ranging from petty trade to huge construction projects. In a bid to cement that relationship, the Chinese officials have been pushing for the promotion of their language in schools. Learning Chinese is lucrative. It can make a fortune for you. At least the 200 US dollar per day as an interpreter. Majority Ugandans, they also realized Chinese is very important. And not, not only Ugandans, the whole world, now they already realized Chinese how important. And we also want to train our local teacher. In 2014, Chinese authorities, in conjunction with Ugandan officials, established the Confucius Institute at Makere University to teach Chinese. The training is also being carried out in some secondary schools, like Luyanzi College in the Boyogere suburb. The students yesterday held a proficiency competition. They showcased their skills in speech, question and answer sessions, and talent shows, which impressed the Chinese officials. Kakula Kirome, the Under Secretary at the Ministry of Education, explains why the government has supported the promotion of the Chinese language in schools. China is the destination now for Ugandan. The Chinese economy is a big economy where Ugandan can, can go and take opportunities for employment and even trade. As a ministry, we think that we can achieve a lot if we start uh, introducing the Chinese language and culture through the younger generation because these are people who still have brains to learn. We also spoke to a delegation of Ugandan head teachers who recently returned from a visit to China. Chinese have moved out uh, to do business with the rest of the world and Uganda is part of those countries where China is doing business. We have got also to prepare to work with the Chinese. China is a big economy. There are very many opportunities of studying, of business and other uh, enterprises. And we have many uh, Chinese companies and projects in our country, Uganda. And therefore it is good to learn Chinese so that all these programs and arrangements can run smoothly. The winners of the proficiency competition are set to get fully sponsored scholarships to China to enhance their language competence. And right now I feel very happy because it has always been my dream to reach China and really see that place because I've heard very many things about it. They say China is the center of business area so if I go to China for free then that means I have the chance. Oh, <laughs>